Hi guys, welcome to week eight art lesson in the remote learning art room. Now, newspapers are fantastic sources of information. They are great for reading the news. But the news hasn't been always so great lately. So I thought let's turn the household piece of newspaper into something that is great, something wonderful and creative. Let's make a torn paper creature today. So you're not gonna need much for this uh, art lesson. You'll need some newspaper. If you don't have any, of course, you can always just find an old brown paper bag, a bit of an envelope, um, some scrap paper, it doesn't matter. Something scrap will be perfect for this. So I'm using newspaper. I've got a black marker, which is always great to have. I've got some scrap paper that I'm gonna use for some uh, big yellow eyes on my creature. And later on, I'm going to stick it onto some white paper. And I'm probably, I'm thinking, going to use some color with my watercolors. If you haven't got them, use whatever you've got. Now I'm making this in front of you for the first time, so I haven't done this yet. So what you will see will be as we go. So I'm gonna get my things ready, stay tuned, and we will start making our torn paper creature. So the first thing we need to do is tear out an interesting shape out of half a sheet of newspaper. So there's no rules for this, it's whatever happens. Just take your time and try and just tear an interesting organic kind of shape. Little people might need some help with this. Big people might need some help with this. Let's keep tearing. And if you're not happy with the shape, of course when you get it out, you could tear off a couple of bits. Let's just see what happens. Round we go. Okay, nearly there. Okay, get rid of that. This is it. There is my shape. Now I am going to add to this using my black marker and my the eyeballs that I'm going to cut out out of the yellow paper. So let's stick this down onto our white background. We wanted this to really stand out. We're reusing something old to make it something really cool. I wonder if I screw this up too, that might give it some texture so that it's, it's wrinkly skin. So let's screw it up carefully. Being careful, we don't want to actually rip it. Give it a few creases and open it gently up again. Press it out flat. Smooth out those wrinkles. And let's paste it onto our white paper. Okay. Shall glue that on. Glue around the edges. I always go right around the edges first. Using your glue stick, you shouldn't overdo it. You should just use it like you're using a pencil. Go around the edges and then put a couple of stripes across the middle so it flattens out. That's pretty good. Make sure you always pop your lid on, look after your glue. Okay, creature, you're going on here. Smooth it out, press it with the heel of your hand. Smooth it out. There we go. Okay, right, it's time to cut out some eyes. Now, I have just cut two eyes out of this scrap bit of yellow and gone around them in black so that they'll stand out. I've made them quite big because I want them to really stand out on my creature. First of all, you need to have a look at your shape and think about which end you want to be the back end, which end you want to be the front end. Can you imagine where the legs might go in your creature? 
Um, can you imagine where its back might be? So try and picture the shape that you want. I think this is going to be my head end. So I'm going to glue one of my eyeballs down. A little bit of glue in the middle, right up there, I think. And the other one, I'm going to pop as though it's on the other side of the head, just over here a bit. show you that let's have a look there he is not looking like much yet but I'm going to add some details with my black marker so I'm thinking I might give him some eyelashes I might also add some little lines around the eyes because I think that just makes them look more realistic I'm going to add some nostrils just here and a big goofy mouth and it's going to have some teeth okay let's have a look what I've got so far there's his head I'm going to add some other bits like I might add some line detail for um, some hair or fur on this creature I might give it a tail and I might even give it some ears and some horns I'm thinking it's kind of like a strange cow so let's give it some ears here and another one over here and it needs some horns as well like I said I'm imagining this kind of strange cow so I'm giving it some funny old horns there it is so far it's always a good idea too if you use your black marker to outline the whole thing so let's do that and it will really stand out so just it doesn't matter if your texture goes a little bit wobbly around the outside mm -hmm. it does help if you've got a nice black texture or, or, or a nice dark one so it really does stand out Okay, let's add some details. I'm going to give this a bit of a woolly head here. I will turn this around when I've done a bit more so you can see what it's starting to look like. Now, I think the tail might go over here. And it needs some little feet. I'm going to make these humps a little bit spiky. Little lines to make spiky hair. Spike, 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 spike. And you know what? You can have lots of fun when if you've got watercolour paints. Uh, adding on a bit more texture and even a little wash of colour over the top. So you can have lots of fun with that. Not too dark, just a nice wash of colour. Um, or even uh, rubbing an oil pastel on its side over the top to give it a bit of texture. Shading in with a pencil. Uh, you might even have chalk at home. You could rub chalk onto it. See what you can come up with. All right, this is going to be where its legs are. So I'm going to do a big hoof there. And maybe another one over here. And he's got another leg on the other side, of course. So that one's just going to see a little bit of that there. another one over here on the other side of his body or her body I'm not sure all right I'm going to turn that around and show you what my creature is starting to look like there's my very strange torn paper creature newspaper cow okay I'm going to add now um, with my black marker a background because it looks a bit boring putting this creature just on a white background so I'm imagining this critter would be somewhere 
out in the countryside. Maybe there'll be an old fence post with some barbed wire. Uh, you might see some hills off in the distance, something like that. So I'm going to add a quick background and I will put that in fast motion so you can see the whole thing all together at the end when it's finished. So stay tuned. And there you have a piece of newspaper that sometimes is not so good to read, turned into something that is fabulous to look at. It's my cow-ish creature out in the countryside. And I decided that it actually looks, I think, a lot better if you just leave the newspaper as natural as you can. Add some black lines with your marker, but put all the color on the outside keep a few bits white it looks really quite effective and um i think it's something really good out of something that's not always so good so please enjoy making your torn paper creature and please share it with me so that i can see what you come up with don't forget if you haven't got newspaper if you haven't got paints there is always other things you can use but you just have to be a little bit creative in your thinking have fun with this one. Please share your ideas and can't wait to see you again next week. Bye for now.